February 27th, 2020 became a defining moment for Nigeria when the first case of COVID-19 was recorded. Since then, the country has witnessed a spike in the number of confirmed cases in the country, but gradually and consistently, the country has also witnessed that every day and every month, the numbers of confirmed cases have been dropping. For these facts, the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 announced Nigeria's transition into the third phase of the ease of restrictions for a period of four weeks with effect from Friday, 4th September. However, understanding how to manage and control the challenges of the coronavirus pandemic in the country and the entire world, the PTF believes Nigeria is ready to enter this third phase of the ease lockdown, but not quite yet ready for a full reopening of economic activities. But then, since Nigeria has recorded sufficient progress to warrant a relaxation of the restrictions in some areas, the task force, however, says the COVID-19 protocols remain in place. During this new phase, a nationwide curfew is still in force, but now from 12 midnight to 4 a.m. All intra and interstate restrictions on road and rail transport are lifted and international flights are scheduled to resume on Saturday. However, not all the international flights are approved to fly into Nigerian airspace and those approved are to observe strict guidelines and protocols. Additionally, all restriction on marketplaces, amusement parks, gyms, and event centers are lifted with half capacities to be adhered to. Meanwhile, bars and nightclubs are yet to be approved for reopening as public servants are below grade level 12 are still advised to work from home. During elections, no face masks, no voting. Now, what are the pros and cons as we enter phase three of the eased lockdown. And to shortly on this edition of Nigeria Today, welcome, I am Dennis at Digan Louis. All right, joining us on uh, the program tonight uh, is uh, another of our regulars in person of uh, Dr. Isaac Ibuja, a public health uh, specialist. Welcome once again to Nigeria Today. You're welcome. Good evening. All right. Um, phase three of the uh, eased lockdown. Um, as a public health uh, specialist, what does this say to you about the current situation uh, as regards the potential threat of uh, COVID-19? Well, what it does say is the fact that we've made reasonable progress. Mm -hmm. We are still making good progress. Um, it means that the measures that have been put in place right from the beginning of this pandemic are working. Um, however, there are still some challenges. There are still some uh, obstacles to uh, getting to where we want to be. Mm. And what it does mean is that if we continue the way we've been doing, and we improve on especially certain areas, which I'm sure we're going to be talking about, mm. we will get there soon. All right. Um... In terms of health, uh, what do you think uh, the health sector, I mean, there's no doubt uh, lots of commendations have been coming for health uh, workers. They've been referred to as the frontline uh, workers in this uh, fight against COVID-19. And uh, what can be done, in your view, differently uh, to handle the situation? Well, I think you remind me now, I always start by thanking health workers <laughs> wherever they are yeah. and uh, whatever level, whatever category, doctors, nurses, mm. uh, lab scientists, whoever, pharmacists, everybody, support staff, drivers. Um, we, we like to thank everybody and I would like us to continue to appreciate them and congratulate them, encourage them. They have done very well. Uh, many of them have made a uh, lot of sacrifices and we should acknowledge that. Um, in terms of uh, public health, uh, we still have a lot to do. Mm. We are not yet in the position uh, to relax mm. and, and feel comfortable. We are supposed to feel relatively uncomfortable for now until we get to some point further than where we are. But it is encouraging and for the health staff, it means that uh, they should be encouraged that the efforts have been putting in mm are working, 
and that their sacrifices are not in vain. If, for example, it has been the other way around and that uh, instead of the uh, numbers de decreasing, mm -hmm. they are increasing and instead of uh, us getting out of the wood bit by bit, we are sinking deeper, mm -hmm. they will in the, uh, be, in, uh, be discouraged. Mm -hmm. But since this is the way it is going, uh, we, uh, I think that they should be encouraged mm -hmm. and they should continue what they are doing. The health authorities should continue enforcing uh, the measures that they have put in place. The public should continue to obey the rules that have been uh, put forward for us to, to, to obey and they should still importantly mm -hmm. adhere to the restrictions that are in place and uh, keep to the rules of wearing masks in public places in particular anytime you get out of your house you wear your mask you still wash your hands as frequently as possible mm -hmm. and you still maintain physical distancing from other people you are now physically distant right, from each other right now <laughs> That's how people are supposed to be. Yeah. Even though uh, worship places uh, have been uh, uh, allowed to operate, they should still operate at very minimal level. Yeah. Uh, people should still sit distant from each other mm -hmm. and make sure that uh, they keep the rules, make sure that if there is anybody that needs to go to such place, mm -hmm. uh, first they check the temperature, Secondly, they sanitize their, their, their hands, wash their hands, mm -hmm. and sanitize their hands before they go inside, and keep to the rules. No hugging, no uh, close contacts for now. Yeah, um, all that you said is uh, certainly uh, all well and good, but in your observations in, over the last, uh, let's say, few weeks, would you say Nigerians have been adhering to these basic uh, guidelines of uh, social distancing, uh, not uh, having too much physical contact. I mean, my, in my own personal experience, I feel that uh, uh, people have become a bit uh, complacent, nonchalant, and uh, this carefree attitude that um, it really doesn't matter anymore that uh, this COVID-19 is now becoming a thing of the past. Would you uh, agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we are not doing too well as a public, mm -hmm. um, as a society. We we started very well. We 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 responded very well. We cooperated very well. But in the recent times, especially the last two months, yeah. uh, right after June, I would say July, August, September, uh, things have changed a little bit. People are, have relaxed far more than they should have. Mm -hmm. People are more careless than they should uh, be. They are not wearing their face masks. Sometimes you meet somebody and they, uh, you ask him, where is your face mask? He says, it's in the car. Mm. The virus is not just in the car, it's everywhere. Mm. Uh, sometimes they say, it's in my pocket. The virus is not in your pocket. And it is not your pocket that should be protected. Mm -hmm. It is your nose and mouth that should be protected. As a matter of fact, your eyes too. Yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, many people are not washing their hands as frequently as they should. The, the only part that I have observed that is still, that is good, Mm. is the fact that people are not shaking hands mm. the way they used to. Yep. They are doing fairly well in that area. They are not shaking hands. They are touching elbow to elbow. Mm. Uh, I think that has become a routine now. Yeah. I wish that uh, they would do more than that and that they would obey the other rules, mm. especially wearing of the masks yep. in the marketplaces, in public places. Uh, and for those who take public transport, it mm. is very, very mandatory. Mm -hmm. You don't know who the next uh, passenger is mm -hmm. and whether or not he or she uh, is infected and even though you trust yourself there's no way you should trust somebody else that you don't know mm -hmm. and even if you know the person you have no idea of knowing whether or not they are infected because you you don't have eyeglasses that can see the virus and it's not uh, it's not tattooed on your no, forehead as no they say. it's not yeah um, I'm not very impressed with our uh, attitude uh, as far as that is concerned I, I must say mm. I, I think that the, the authorities have been crying a lot um, the ministries of health at the state level the federal minister of health NCDC the presidential task force everybody has been singing the same one song and I think that it should sink into everybody's heads and minds mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we should do better than we are doing. Given the, um, this uh, phase three that we have entered to, into, uh, obviously the uh, restrictions are further relaxed. Does this give you even greater concern on the part of how Nigerians are going to yes. conduct themselves yes. going forward? Yes, I'm, I'm personally very uh, mm. concerned. I'm a little concerned because 
if we go the way we are going, mm. uh, we might get into trouble. I keep saying we are still in the woods. We have not gotten out of the woods yet. Mm. Meaning we have not gotten out of this problem yet. It yeah. is not over. And we should not pretend that it is over. And the, the, the worst thing that would happen mm. is when you think there is no enemy, and there is an enemy, mm -hmm. That's when the enemy will get you very well. Yep. It will hit you below the belt and it will be disastrous. When you least expect it. And uh, for example, when people go to the market or go to the worship places or just go anywhere and uh, they, they relax and the one person, two persons, three, four get infected, it will spread around mm. and it will be the way we started, the way it started coming up, it will start spreading out again. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what my concern is. Mm. All right, um, let's uh, focus a little now on the, um, no doubt, the PTF Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 uh, uh, did its due diligence before uh, announcing a resumption of international flights uh, in a uh, Saturday, that's tomorrow. Um, given what we've seen in other countries in terms of spikes in uh, COVID-19 cases, just uh, give us uh, your concerns that... Uh, that may that you may have concerning flights that will be resuming, international flights that will be resuming into the country. Well, let me first of all thank the presidential tax force. I think they have done very well. Mm. Um, before they relaxed the situation to a point where they are now going to mm. allow uh, international flights, they have done a, a, quite a bit of research work yeah. and background checks on countries. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, it is not all airlines that are allowed to come yeah. into the country. Mm. Uh, it's a select few for now. Mm. We will see how that goes. If you notice the way they, they, they started, they started with uh, 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 domestic flights. Yeah and very few flights between Abuja and Lagos, mm. then they expanded, then now they are thinking of international flights, and even now that international flights will be allowed, it is not all airlines, mm. it is only some. And I hope too that the measures put in place, meaning mm. you must be tested a few days before you travel from the country of origin of your uh, uh, disembarkment, mm. and uh, when you arrive here, you will be checked, yeah. you will still be isolated. Mm. We've not got, we've not changed that rule yet, mm. and it should remain in place because if people are not isolated and checked, it, it, it could be disaster again. Yeah. So that is good. Um, if people keep to the rules mm. and uh, the civil av aviation personnel or staff are uh, working hard as they are now, observing, keeping to the rules, not relaxing anything, not uh, changing any rules not obeying any person, not respecting any person who claims or pretends to be a VIP, yep. um, I think we, things would go well. We still have to be very cautious. Mm -hmm. We still have to recognize the fact that if we make mistakes, mm. we could go to where we started from. Oh, um, and so we, precaution is the, the word to use. Yeah. We certainly don't want to go back to uh, square one. No. All right. Uh, the program is uh, Nigeria Today. Um, we are discussing the uh, phase three of the ease lockdown uh, announced uh, by the PTF, which uh, came into force uh, today. We'll take a break now. Don't go away. We'll be right back. The number of the COVID-19 cases in Nigeria is increasing daily with many more tests ongoing. The battle of testing, isolating, treating and attending to the affected persons rests heavily on the shoulders of our health workers, constantly putting their lives on the line and at risk to contain this virus, save and protect the lives of millions of Nigerians. To these health workers, we at the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, on behalf of millions of Nigerians, say a big thank you for all that you have done and are doing to the security agencies enforcing the lockdown and every other frontliner. We say thank you for putting your lives on the line to save ours. There is no amount of words that can quantify our gratitude. Thank you. This message is brought to you by the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, Africa's largest television network.
All right, Joe, welcome back. If you are just joining us, the program is Nigeria Today, and uh, our topic is the uh, phase three of the ease lockdown uh, on, uh, in the country. Uh, our guest is Dr. Isaac Igbuja, a public health uh, specialist. Uh, doctor, just help me and uh, maybe the viewers understand um, the reasoning behind how, um, why the, some f international flights have been allowed in or are going to be allowed in and some are not being allowed in. What's the uh, reasoning, behind, rationale behind that? Well, it's because of the countries where those airlines are coming from. Mm -hmm. If an airline belongs to a country A, where the situation has not changed too much and is not yet uh, um, good enough for us to trust that they will not be bringing in the virus, mm. then it, is, it will be very risky to allow, uh, to allow airlines from those, uh, such country A yeah. to come into the country. If, however, there is country B, where the situation is uh, uh, good, uh, it has improved because every country has been uh, affected mm. and uh, they have taken reasonable precautions. The number of cases in those countries have reduced drastically. The people, I mean, the, the, um, the lockdown in those countries have, re have been relaxed to a point where the, they can operate their own airlines mm. and there have been no documented, observed, serious cases from such activities. Then uh, the airlines from country B can come to, to Nigeria. Mm. If the, the country C has a worse situation than the two that I have mentioned, mm -hmm. where uh, things are really going very bad, mm. Nigeria would not even think of well, al allowing any airline from such country. Mm -hmm. That is why I started by saying that before the presidential tax force relaxed the, um, the rules on uh, international flights, they have done their background checks, yeah. they have got their information, they have done their research, mm. and uh, it is only temporary. Mm. If they uh, observe as things go on, that uh, countries where airlines are coming from mm. start to have problems, they will, I'm sure, readjust again. Just, sure. On the other hand, too, mm. if uh, countries that, are, uh, that have so much problem right now that airlines from those countries cannot yet come to Nigeria, especially some countries in Europe, mm. uh, if they observe that they have improved and that their situation has improved to a point where they are like us or better, mm. why not? They would allow them. I'm sure they will be reviewing these things from time to time. Yep. Nothing is uh, static. For sure. And no doubt things uh, will uh, change and adjust. All right. Um, some people may not be happy about uh, this ease of lockdown not coming to their doorstep if you like uh, bars nightclubs yeah. um, for obvious reasons um, yeah. the ptf has uh, uh, decided that uh, such uh, venues are not ready for uh, you know gatherings uh, i'm sure you would agree with that i agree totally agree with them um yes uh, those people are crying because of their of the economy mm -hmm. they they want to earn money everybody knows that they want to earn a living there are a lot of people who work in those places who are no, not going to work now and therefore they don't have good means of livelihood. Uh, we, are, we are looking at livelihood with uh, comparing it with uh, uh, safety. Mm. Um, yes, we, we want to live, but uh, we want to do it with precaution and with reasonable certainty yeah. that we are not going to incur some problem on ourselves. Mm. Uh, I, I feel sorry for, for those places. But, uh, much that I do, that's not a reason for us to change the rules. We still have to keep the rules, unfortunately. Very important. All right, um, the ongoing global efforts uh, in the generation of a vaccine uh, for this uh, COVID-19 uh, showing promising results. What's, uh, what role is Nigeria playing and its contribution so far to the uh, rest of the world in this regard? Well, Nigeria is a member of the international uh, agencies that are working on, on vaccines. For mm -hmm. example, uh, WHO, Nigeria is pan partnering with other uh, countries that are also working on vaccines. Mm -hmm. And Nigerian scientists are also working. Uh, they have started uh, the Nigerian Institute for Medical Research, for example, uh, has started work. And I'm sure uh, NIPRID, the Nigerian uh, Institute for Pharmaceutical uh, Research and Development, which is here in Abuja, it's also working. Um, 
I, 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 I think that this kind of partnership mm -hmm. uh, and cooperation and collaboration that we are doing as a country with other agencies, with other countries, and with agencies, we are going to yield uh, good results. Mm. And uh, I would want to use this opportunity to advocate that a lot of uh, funds are given to our research institutes, especially those two, the Nigerian Institute for Medical Research in uh, Yaba, Lagos, and the Nigerian Institute for uh, Pharmaceutical Research and Development here in Abuja. Mm. If they have more money, they can do much more than they are doing. Uh, any of us who have, I have been privileged to be a, a chairman of the managing uh, of, of the uh, governing board of uh, NIMA, the Nigerian Institute for Medical Research, and I know yeah that there are lots of capable hands there. Mm -hmm. There are lots of good scientists there. And the same in NIPRID, the Nigerian Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development. Mm -hmm. All they need is one, encouragement, two, funds. They need funds to be able to do the research that they, they, uh, that they should be doing. And uh, if you combine those with, for example, the um, uh, National Veterinary Research Institute in VOM, mm. which is already producing vaccines, and they, they collaborate and cooperate with each other, yeah. we should be able to produce vaccines in, for, for, for COVID-19 and other uh, viruses, other diseases as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, uh, stigmatization, it's, um, it's still maybe a bit of an issue when it comes to uh, COVID-19. Those who may be coming in from uh, abroad or other countries, uh, is there any concern you may have as to uh, stigmatization of those who may be coming in by Nigerians? Uh, I think there is even stigmatization of those who are already in the country mm, yes. who mm. have been known to have uh, mm. contacted the, 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 the virus. Yeah. I, I, will, I would encourage people not to run away from anybody mm -hmm. because they come from another country. Yeah. Uh, you should be careful, I agree. You should be cautious, I agree, but not to stigmatize them and say, mm. and look at them like lepers. When they come near you, 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 you avoid them and you run away from them, mm -hmm. uh, especially if those people are of different color yeah. or of different nationality. They will feel very embarrassed mm. and it is not good for us. All right. Um, just <clears throat> to harp on this uh, point again, uh, we've entered um, phase three. Restrictions are becoming more relax what's your message to nigerians uh, in view of this relaxation how should they conduct themselves and uh, take ownership and responsibility as this challenge continues my message is still the same mm -hmm. i uh, uh, want us to take it very cautiously to be happy that the measures are being relaxed mm -hmm. but to be conscious of the fact that we are still in the woods we are still in trouble we've not gotten out completely gotten out of the trouble Mm. And therefore, people should not relax. People should still obey all the rules. All, not some. All the rules that are put out. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of the lockdown, people were not even allowed to go anywhere at all. It was relaxed. Mm -hmm. some, some of the conditions have been relaxed. Mm -hmm. Those ones we should try to, to, to appreciate. But to go beyond where we are supposed to go or we are supposed to be will be very disastrous. So I, I encourage everybody and I advise everybody, mm. keep to the rules, wash your hands as frequently as possible, um, wear your masks wherever, whenever you're out of your house and you're going anywhere. Mm. Uh, make sure that you uh, keep physical distancing from people, at least three feet, two feet, uh, a meter, mm -hmm. two meters away from uh, your next neighbor. Yep. Especially people who are going to the markets, crowded places, mm. places of worship, we should still be very careful. If we misbehave, I am sorry to use that word, mm. if we do and we are not disciplined, the government would have no choice but to reverse to the uh, stage two mm. that we were, which we don't pray for. Exactly. So my advice is keep to the rules so that we keep making progress. Absolutely. Very good advice. And uh, Nigerians, take heed of uh, that advice from uh, doc, uh, Dr. Isaac Egboja. Thanks uh, once again for being on Nigeria today and sharing off your thoughts with us, uh, public health uh, specialist. We hope to have you back very soon once again. My pleasure. Good evening. All right. And uh, thanks to you out there for watching. Nigeria Today is live every weekday at 7.30 in the evening. I'm Dennis at Dignaluya. Thanks for spending your time with us. We'll be back again in the new week. Have a good weekend.